Welcome back. Today we're going to take a look at the top 20 cryptocurrencies by market cap. We're going to start with Shiba Inu at number one, followed by AVEX, Tron, Polkadot, Bitcoin Cash, Chainlink, Nia, Polygon, Litecoin, and then we'll end it with Internet Computer at number 20. Let's get straight into it. Shiba Inu. So for Shiba Inu, we are still above the skinny pink line. Hey, hey. So if anything, if anything, we're anticipating. Uh, yeah. Another wave higher. If anything, this is a wave five in the making. And you can see that there's so many clusters of stock buys. It's only a matter of time where before Shiba Inu pushes the price higher, triggers all of these buys. And hey, we're probably going to, in my opinion, again, purely guessing around sub 6,000, I think. Right now, we are at 2003, so more site is to be expected for uh, Shiba Inu, right? Uh, probably more than 100%. But yeah, again, I, I don't think we are bearish yet. Uh, the trend is still bullish. We're still above the skin pink line. Uh, there was a breakout over here. Not exactly perfect, but still an inverse head and shoulders breakout. And so, yeah, we're out. More likely than not, uh, we should be seeing more than 100% more. Uh, but the only thing is that we might be consolidating a little bit longer, right? I mean, of course, who knows, right? We could just start busting off, but uh, I will anticipate some whiplashing around the area <laughs> before heading higher. But uh, Shiba Inu still has more upside. I don't think ship is done yet. AVEX against BDC. Here we are for AVEX. Ooh, okay, AVEX already under the skinny pink line. You see this? Against BDC. So, yep, it's weak. Nope. Uh, of course, AVEX could do something like this, right? Nice little squeeze. Breakout. Sure, of course, but uh, as it stands, we are bearish and we shall remain with a bearish bias for AVEX BDC. Against USD, we're still above the skinny pink line. You see this? <laughs> so, which means that we could still go higher, but at the same time, this looks like a cane shoulders. You see that? Do you see that? Hmm, there is danger though. I'm not saying we can't go any higher, but yeah, we have to proceed with caution. We have to proceed with caution. If BDC rises, very likely you can see AVEX uh, rally as well, right? I fear that the rally that comes for AVEX may be a weak one, right? Uh, we might do, you know, something like this and then eventually break lower, right? Bullish case would be heading higher, close to the highs, not taking out the highs over here, consolidate a little bit before heading higher. But uh, for now, yeah, AVEX is sort of weak to me. So you're going to be very, 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 very careful. Tron against BDC. What's up, Justin? Tron has been going sideways for some time. No clear signs of a, you know, this could be a very, very big accumulation, right? And a super breakout could be in the making for Tron. Super duper breakout. Uh, but I can't say for sure if this is the low. So Tron will be a next coin for us for the moment. Tron against USD, again, clearly above the skinny pink line. Still in a bullish, bullish trend, but uh, is this the end of the bullish trend? Hmm, right, yeah, you could pull a support line across. We could do something like this, hit lower, right? I mean, of course, we could also do something like this and hit higher. So, yeah, it doesn't look like there's an H for us. So we're going to move on from Tron to Polkadot. What's up, Gavin? Dot against BTC is down super weak. We've been under the skinny pink line for a very long time. We didn't really truly break above it. So, yeah, it's not looking good to me. Against USD, tro uh, DOT is yeah, touching the skinny pink line. That's a breakout, right? Would have been nicer if we continue higher. A polka dot is so weak. It is so weak. Um, yeah, I suspect that we're breaking back down under the skinny pink line. And that is not good. That is not good, boys and girls. That's just not good. Bitcoin Cash is still bullish to me. Bitcoin Cash still has another leg towards the upside. Uh, yes, we're really touching the skinny pink line. Sure, we could be consolidating here a little bit. Mm, yeah, but Bitcoin Cash against BDC, we never really truly broke up of it, right? Could this be the time where we accumulate? I mean, go, go on an accumulation journey before breaking higher for Bitcoin Cash against Bitcoin? Mm, not too sure, right? It, let's say at the very, very beginning, you got all your Bitcoin Cash and you switch it into Bitcoin, right? So you would have done swell. You would have done amazing, but um, yeah, such is life. Such is life. Uh, Bitcoin Cash against USD. Here we are still more upside again. Wave one, wave two, up for a three, down for a four, another one, five. One more wave. We're probably gonna hit four digits again. 
We're 438. So again, uh, probably another 100% more for Bitcoin Cash. Probably going to go past 1,000. So watch out for that. Uh, we're still above the skinny pink line though. So now we're trying to guess where the low is. Are we going to take out this low? Or are we going to start blasting off from here? Hmm, that is the question we want to have an answer to. We want to, do, to know whether if this is the low. If this is the low, then yeah, we'll make moves here. But we're still not entirely sure, right? Uh, we were running through all the time frames. Sure, you may argue that this is a hammer, but mm, yes, I'm not entirely sure. We're not entirely sure, but uh, more likely than not, there should be another rally for Bitcoin Cash towards the upside. Link against BDC. Here we are for Chainlink, super weak. Uh, Chainlink had a rally, but we got slapped all the way down. So it's like, yeah, yo, bro, bro, it's not good. Sergey, how much low are we gonna drop? Again, we're not entirely sure. <laughs> but Chainlink is under the sky. Oh boy, it's just not really looking that good. Against USD, Chainlink is again also touching the skinny thing line, just like Polkadot. Oh my God, it's not good. Uh, but I can count one, two, three, four, another one, five, and after that uh, we see a rally back up. So let's say, for example, right, we assume that we're going to get five waves down uh, and then we'll see some sort of a rally. So the question we have is, will this rally break back up convincingly above the skinny pink line, right? Or will this rally hit the skinny pink line and then we continue lower? Not too sure. We are not too sure. <coughs> mm. Chainlink is just weak. It's just weak. Just like AVEX and Polkadot. So weak. Near against BDC. Here we are for near. Okay, near is still above the skinny pink line, right? And we're still above uh, the skinny pink line on the BDC pair, which means that um, near is gaining strength, is is rising faster than Bitcoin. Which means that uh, if you had switched over from BDC to near at the bottom, you would have done pretty well over here. Um, how much higher are we gonna go? Uh, again, feels to me like this is a valley. If you get a series of valleys, this could be a an ascending or a cup and handle. Again, we're not entirely sure, but we're expecting more upside for near against BDC. We're clearly still above the skinny pink line. There's clearly still buying pressure. So near is still looking pretty good to us. Near against USD is also looking pretty good. We are still clearly above the skinny pink line. So more upside is to be expected. Uh, how much higher do I think near could go? Uh, my expectation is double digits. Uh, right now we're at seven dollars, so more likely they're not. So we're heading towards ten dollars. Ten dollars is not too far away, though. Uh, we're probably gonna go further than that, maybe to f I don't know, sub fifteen, fourteen, something, fifteen, fourteen, fifteen. So there will be another hundred percent for near. So if anything, yeah, more upside. I'm still expecting another wave higher. One, two, three, four, another wave higher. So yeah, more upside is to be expected for near. I don't think near is done yet. I don't think Nier is done yet. Matik! Oh my god! Matik is super weak. Raj. What's happening, Raj? Raj. Mm, Sandeep. Uh, anyway, for Matik against BDC, there is a support line over here. Right. Mountains, mountains, mountains. Bam! We slice down. How much lower are you going to go? Yeah, again, this is the noisy area. So we're expecting it to hit towards uh, 700. Right now we're at 1000, so it's still very weak. It's very weak. It's very weak. Any clear signs of a revert? No. It's super weak, bro. It's super weak. Matic against USD. Here we are for Matic. <sighs> How much lower are we gonna go? Again, there is a resistance. A no noisy area. And the point is, there's a noisy area around here. So we could stop at around 54 cents, sub 54. We're at 66. So one more wave lower, but oh, but this is not good though. It's like mountains. Oh my god. Mm, yeah, if this doesn't hold, right, we clear all of these lows. We sweep all of these lows. Uh, we're probably going to sweep this as well. If we sweep all of this, we're probably going to sweep this. So once we sweep this, this will probably be around 40 cents. 66, down, 66 cents down to 40 cents. Is that possible? Yeah. So again, we have to um, monitor the levels very closely. First, we hold these holes. If this doesn't hold, we're probably going to come down to here. So sweep of the lows. Suit of the lows. Palm reverse back up. Hopefully, hopefully we see strong buying pressure. <laughs> because if we slice through and we form mountain ranges and continue lower, this is very bad because this is a big descending triangle. <sighs> Sandeep, what's happening, Sandeep? Sandeep! Litecoin against BDC. Yo, what's KDC? Litecoin is also super weak. 
Well, we have been going down, down and down and down under the skinny pink line. It's very, very weak. Super weak. I don't see any strength for Litecoin BDC, right? Uh, Litecoin against USD is also uber weak. Um, feels like we're curving back down. Oh my god. Uh, I suspect there could be some whale shenanigans though. We might rise up over here to around this noisy area, right? Before coming back down, right? So yeah, but it's very weak. We're expecting $32. Uh, this was the target which we acquired way back uh, in October. And we're still uh, bias bearish for Litecoin because we have not convincingly crossed the skinny pink line. Right? I mean, of course, you can argue that this could be a, you know, ABCDE, sure, we could be breaking higher, but this is very weak. When we rise, it's very, very, very slow. When we fall, bam, so fast, right? Very slow towards the upside. Bam, towards the downside. Let me see that. The speed is towards the downside. So be careful about rushing into a trade for Litecoin. Internet computer! ISCP against BUTC. Here we are for ISCP. <sighs> Not looking good. Touching the skinny pink line. Touching, touching, touching. Not good, boys. Not good. Mountains, more likely than not. More downside for ICP, BCT, ICP, USDT. Okay, there's some hope for ICP, USD. But uh, again, I still see mountains. Mountains, 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 mountains. Mm, not the kind of uh, chop pattern I want to see. Uh, we we want to see strength towards the upside, close to the highs over here. And then we consolidate near the highs. This would be awesome. But we don't see it. Uh, See, every time we rally, right, we get pulled back down. Rally, we get pulled back down. There you go, bro. Bro, what's happening? Yeah. Looks like head and shoulders as well. But we're above the skinny pink line. So you can look at this with bullish lenses or with bearish lenses, whichever way you want to look at it. Um, and if things were to continue higher, we're anticipating it to head towards about $40. Right now, we're at about $12. So another 200% more to go. Right, uh, if ICP does decide to rally back up here, Right, and after that, yeah, we could be heading towards $40. So at this point of time, we're still not entirely sure. So be careful about rushing into a trade too soon for ICP. All right, boys and girls, hope you guys have a great, great day ahead of you. See you in the next one. Ta -da. Oh, and you have not checked the top 10. Do check it out. We did it yesterday. See you. Ta -da.